Good morning. This is Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards. This is the card we'll be doing today. It's using the um, Free as a Bird stamp set and the uh, paper is Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. The cardstock that I'm using is this is Pool Party. This is the inside of the card. I thought it was so cute. This is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. The I've got all the pieces cut out. So let's get started. Remember my host code. I'm do, giving away for fifty every fifty dollar order. Or fifty to up to one hundred and fifty dollar order the noble peacock rhinestones. It's on page one seventy eight of the current catalog right here. I thought those were pretty. I can't wait to get some. I don't have any yet. I'll be ordering all of those next month. So get some of this stuff out of the way here. <coughs> okay, this is. We're going to have it this way. <coughs> Pool party cardstock. Still trying to drink my coffee this morning. Okay, the outside pieces <coughs> Old Olive, five and a quarter by four. Here's the designer series paper we're using. This is five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. We're just going to glue that to our old olive piece. I really like this this paper. The flowers on it are just gorgeous. So we'll center that. It's got a very thin border. So we're using the Free as a Bird, and I already stamped and colored my bird, and I used this bird, and then I used the leaf image, and then I cut my bird out with the center, this is uh, Whisper White, and I used the stitched shaped um, circles, and I used the second to the largest right here cut him out and then put that aside then I used two other pieces here I used the layering circles framelits and this one is third from the largest and this one is second to the largest. So that's what I used for these. This is Pool Party and Daffodil Delight. I keep my stuff out of the way. And then I just glued our little focal point to the layers. I colored my bird with Granny Apple Green, Light Soft Suede, right here. And then this is Light and Dark Pool Party. And then the leaves are Light and Dark Old Olive. And then his beak is Light Smoky Slate. And that's all I did for coloring the bird. And then my sentiments come from Beauty Abounds stamp set. Right here. I used a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. Okay. There's that piece. And then my sentiment, I used... 
my triple banner punch and this piece is three quarters of an inch by two and five eighths and I just put it in here until I could see the letters that I had I have to you kind of have to center it because it's smaller than this so you kind of center it on there when you see your letters you back it off a little bit I have to do it this way here sometimes I have a hard time holding things steady so you just kind of center that now you could certainly cut it by hand but I didn't I just didn't so that's how I cut that and then this piece is two and seven eighths by seven eighths so when you're done with this and it ends up being two and a half inches long so then I glued my sentiment to my daffodil delight piece and I made it flush on one end and centered it side to side just like this so you just kind of move it around until it's where you want it just like so okay and then you can either use your triple banner punch to punch this which will probably work let's see if we can do it without messing it up put it in there I don't think I will I think I'm going to cut this by hand because I want it a certain distance so it's about the same as that so you could just cut your scissors to the center and to the center there and if it doesn't look as good as you want then you trim a little bit more off that looks better okay and then I have my sentiment done then I took a piece of this um, burlap ribbon and oops it is uh, about five and a quarter inches long and as you can see on my card I kind of did a little like this on it which is kind of weird but it worked for me. It's a little messy. I'll do that over here. So there's that. And then I did the other end. Sorry, it's off screen. I don't want all that burlap on my work surface. Okay. And that's what I did with that. Put that down. So then I took my snail and I put snail on the back of this because I didn't want glue on it. It might help if I do it the right way. I went down the whole length of this with snail. And I didn't really want it exactly in the center, so I put it, looks like I put it down a little bit. Just like so. And then I popped this up on dimensionals. I used four. And I put two at the top, like so. I didn't want any where it was going to be on my burlap. And then two at the bottom. And then I kind 
I just put him where I thought he looked good. He looks good right there. And then I put dimensionals on the back of this. And I went ahead and put three because I don't like these things sagging in the middle. And then I made it flush to the green, to the old olive here. Kind of overlapping this just a little. So that's your front panel. And we can go ahead and put that on with dimensionals. And you don't want this thing sagging, so make sure you put plenty on there. That looks good. So we'll put that on. been having some fun trying to come up with some pretty cards with this paper. It's using my Stampin' Blends to color in the birds. There, the front of the card's done. Now we're going to color our birds on the inside. And the first thing I did was I colored the branch. And I used the soft suede. This is the dark. And I just kind of went along the bottom of this first just for Kind of a shadow on the bottom. And then I took the light soft suede and just blended it. Just like that. Kind of a squeaky pin. took my old olive and I took the dark put a little bit of dark on the leaves just kind of randomly put some on there kind of where the lines are you can see because you don't want them to be solid And then after I did the dark, then I went back with the light and blended it. So you can see kind of two tones of green. They're not solid. There's a little... I don't know what that is, but I colored that green. I don't know if it was a little stick sticking up or a leaf. So it became a leaf because I colored it green. Just fill this in. It's like so. Oops. I have to get my... I went outside the line there. Take your color lifter. Let's see if you can get that green off of there. Looks pretty good. There. Not too bad. Okay. Finish coloring the green. happens when I'm trying to be fast so that you don't get bored with all my coloring. 
this is a process I used on the front of the card as well. Okay, there's the green. Then I took my um, daff dark daffodil delight and colored in the center of the flowers that you could see the center and a little bit around these edges to give some dark shading. And then I took the light, old um, daffodil delight, and just blended it. Now you could certainly make your flowers all different colors, but I figured it was on the same tree, so that's the way I did it. And then I took, and I wanted two of the birds to be yellow, so I took some of the dark Daffodil Delight and kind of colored in some areas on two of the birds. light and blended that in like so and get this bird I decided I wanted this little birdie to be all yellow I don't know why except that's just what I did Okay, that bird's done. And then I took my white soft suede and colored in that little bird's wings and head. And then I put some on this bird. And I did his belly this color. So, and then put a little bit on this bird around his belly, just like that. And then I took my, this is light smoky slate. And I just colored this bird's head this color. And all their little beaks are that color. And then I took my pool party and colored this bird a little bit of light. And then some dark shading. It's pretty easy. Oh, I forgot this one has some green on it. Let's do the green before I... I used a little bit of Granny Apple Green on his chest. And I blended it in like so. Oh yeah. With the um, soft suede. And then I finished blending with the light pool party. And that's how I did the color. Quite a few colors. And then all I did was glue it to the inside of the card. This piece is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And I just centered that in the center of the card. And we're done. That's our card for today using the beautiful birds. Um, Free as a bird and beauty abounds and the designer series paper bird ballad. So I hope you have a lovely day and 
Happy crafting.